Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing this video, that means the new Glaminatrix Pretty in Pastels palette has been revealed. So I just wanted to show you guys some swatches, give you guys some first impression thoughts, and of course, test out some new makeup. So just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I do post quite often, so highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I have my foundation and concealer on. I got my eyeshadow primer and my brows on. So let's go ahead and dive into the star of the show today. I have the new Glaminatrix Pretty in Pastels palette. And honestly, while I was sitting here and swatching this, I was like, oh my gosh, have they finally made pastels for me? Because it has a row of ding, 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 deep tone, colorful mattes. So I feel like I found another perfect pastel palette for me. So I cannot wait to put this on my eyes. Let me go ahead and show you guys some swatches and some close-ups and give you guys some information on this launch. Pretty in Pastels and the Lip and Cheek Flushes will launch Sunday 3rd of March at 8 a.m. Australian time. That'll be Saturday the 2nd of March at 6 p.m. Eastern time. And overall, I just think this is such a perfect balance of pastels with some deep mattes, which is gonna work really great with my skin tone. Okay, so now that you've seen the close-ups and the swatches, let's go ahead and play with this palette. I'm so excited. I have a pink sweater on, so I feel like I should play with the pink purple row, but I also really want to try out the greens, so... Like, should I do green? <laughs> should I do green? I just posted another green eye look as well, but... I feel like green is just my signature look on the YouTube, so I don't even know. What am I gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try and get outside my comfort zone and pair the blues with the pink. So let's start off with the shade Peaceful, which is the dark blue shade. And I'm taking my favorite unearthly little angle brush. I ordered four of these, and I'm still patiently waiting for my order to come because I don't know if I pre-ordered them or what, but it's taking them a while. So it's kind of a thing that I hadn't really expected. Luckily, it's not like something like super time sensitive, but I saw they were selling them individually on the Unearthly website and I was like, well, might as well grab a few before they don't sell them, you know? So there we go. Next, I'm gonna go into the purple shade called Fanciful right here. It's like a more cool tone purple. And I'm just gonna slice, and I'm just gonna layer that right on top of the blue. And kind of like help blend that in a little bit. So I'm gonna take a refer brush and I'm gonna go into the shade called Mystify, which is a really pretty pastel pink shade. 
And I'm just gonna run that all over the crease. This is a little bit hard to see on me. I don't have like a white eyeshadow base. I'm just using my Sigma eyeshadow base. So maybe I should mix the pink and the purple just to brighten it up a little bit. I feel like that's barely showing up on me. Am I crazy or... Can you guys see that? Okay, I'm gonna go into Divine here, the blue pastel, because the purple and the pink is just not showing up that well on me. I'm gonna start the blue off here and just slowly bring it in. Okay, I'm gonna take another tapered brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Peaceful, and I'm just gonna keep adding some more of that dark shade. Okay, so I tried my best to kind of like mix and match and bring the pastels in. I feel like the shades just don't have enough pigmentation for me. I don't have the deepest, darkest skin tone though, so I'd be very curious to see this palette. Like I really want to see somebody do an eye look with this palette on a deep skin tone because I don't claim to be like the best makeup person out there so maybe it's just me but I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna go into the two shades here I'm gonna start off with ambient and then we're gonna put surreal kind of on the inner corner but I feel like I want to try my finger with these metallics and then once I get a good base on, I can go in with a brush. So now I'm gonna grab a brush and just complete the look. So I'm just grabbing this flat Sonia G brush and I should probably spray it. I didn't spray it the first time. Okay, I'm gonna flip the brush over. I'm gonna go into Surreal and just, it's like a, pinky silvery color it's super pretty I really am struggling with these mattes they just do not look like how I wanted them to how I was hoping that they would look in the crease I'm just adding a little bit more divine because it just looks so patchy on me oh that is so disappointing I don't know what I'm doing wrong but I know this palette is being revealed today and I don't have a ton of time to test it out some more but I wanted to just do like something with it because I've had it for some time and I thought I had more time but I don't so I just wanted to put a look on and just try it out and see the dark shadow is really nice, but the lighter shades are just those that pink and that purple did not show up on me in my opinion. I'll of course like correct myself if I review the footage and be like, mm, no Karen, I could see it on camera. Just sitting here like in my makeup room, I couldn't see it in the mirror. So I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. So I'm just going to finish up the lower lash line quick. I'm going to take the shade called Labyrinth. It's like a really pretty minty color. just want to try something different. should have probably used a white eyeliner. So I could have used it as the base instead of a black. But I didn't think of all of that when I decided to use the shade. That minty shade is really pretty. So it goes on pretty pigmented if I just like concentrate it, but I feel like when I try to blend pastels, bad things happen. <laughs> bad things happen. I'm going to take my unearthly brush. I'm going to go into Peaceful and I'm just going to run it on the lower lash line as well and blend it. 
Okay, I feel like I managed to salvage it just a little bit, but definitely had a different picture of a look in my mind. So there's that. I'm also gonna take a little bit of the shade called Ethereal, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corners. That is a pretty shadow. It's an iridescent blue on the inner corner. That's super cute. Okay, so I need to throw on mascara and stuff, but first I want to go ahead and try out a new bronzer that I picked up. Okay, so I want to test out the new Glossier bronzer. I got it in the shade Swept. Just gonna pounce it on the back of my hand and then just blend it in with this Sigma brush. I like to use a bronzer that's like a tish darker than my skin tone. I'm not really into the super dark chiseled out bronzer anymore. Sometimes, but usually I just like it to be like barely there. So I was curious about this one. I can see it. It's a little bit glowy. It blended nicely, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so these are launching at the same time as the palette, and I did swatch them in a previous testing new makeup video, but I just wanna show them to you now. I have them all here, and I think I'm gonna use the shade Sunny today. It's like a, kind of like a peachy shade, and I think it'll work with this look. So these were super nice when I first tried them out. They blended out really nicely. So I'm just taking my other multitasking brush. I used this one the other day and now I'm using it for a blush again. But see, it's like beautiful. It blends easily. I haven't worn them on the lips yet, so Maybe I can try one on the lips since I don't have a lip product on. That's pretty cute. And then for highlighter, I'm gonna use the Back to Cali Smashbox palette again. I don't have a new highlighter to try out, so I used this highlighter in the video I posted this morning as well. And honestly, I did not anticipate the Glaminatrix collection getting announced today. And usually I try to prepare ahead of time, but I just had a really rough week. So I'm trying to play catch up now, which is fine, but the highlighter is gorgeous. So let me go ahead and try the shade Lavish as a lip. And for that, I need to line my lips. I'm gonna use the shade Cafe from Unearthly. It's a cool tone brown lip liner. I haven't used these lip and cheek products on my lips yet, so I'm a little nervous. I'm just going to go right on there, so don't come for me. I'm not going to put this on anybody else's lips, so it's fine. I feel like it would be so hard to like nail a lip cheek product, especially because this shade on the cheeks was so pretty. So let's see how it dries down. My lips are so crusty. I even exfoliated them last night. But when I just rubbed them together, I felt like grisly. <laughs> so this is the shade Lavish from the Lip and Cheek Tints and it's a really pretty like nude. So I'm going to see how that does if it dries down or whatnot. I'm going to spray my face with the new setting spray I got. Again, I did use this in the video I posted this morning. This is from Juvia's Place, it was really nice. So let me spray my face quick. So this one, I feel like really did a good job of setting my makeup yesterday. And so I'm excited to try it out today as well. And so I'm gonna hop off, throw on some mascara, throw on some earrings, and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look and give you some thoughts on the products I tried out today. Okay friends, so here is the finished look. What do you guys think? I think in the end I was able to pull it together, but let me tell you I was definitely picturing a different eye look 
with this palette. I also want to tell you what else is on my face today. So for foundation, ooh, almost dropped that. For foundation, I'm wearing my Prada foundation. I think I have the shade 60N. And then concealer is Laura Mercier in the shade 4 in 1. And I think that's pretty much everything I applied off camera. So let's go ahead and talk really quick about the rest of the products I tried out today before we talk about the eyeshadow palette. So the Glossier Bronzer, I could have gone for the next shade up, but like I said, I don't like a super dark bronzer at this moment. I like something that's just a little bit darker than my skin tone, so I think I got the right color. I could have definitely applied a little bit more, but I didn't want to overdo it. So, so far it's like fine. It didn't like blow my mind or anything. I did try the Physicians Formula Bronzer in the video I posted this morning, and I thought this one was really nice as well. So I got a lot of fun like liquid bronzers to keep testing out, and I don't have like complete thoughts on it yet. The Smashbox highlighter is beautiful. I haven't tried any of the other face products in that palette, but I cannot wait to. I'm gonna probably have to film a few different testing new makeup videos in the upcoming week or two because I did get those in PR and I wanna try them out before I give you guys any concrete thoughts, like try out the bronzers and the blushes and things like that. Just haven't gotten the chance to do that yet. As far as the lip and cheek products from Glaminatrix, I'm really excited. I definitely prefer these as a blush, but you guys know I'm like the queen of blushes, especially cream and liquid, so I think this formula is beautiful. I think they did a great job creating a multi-purpose product like this with a decent amount of pigmentation. Mine has not dried down on the lips yet, so I don't know if this is supposed to be more like a liquid lip or what. It has dried on my face, but I did blend it with a brush, so maybe that's the difference. But Personally, I prefer to wear these on my cheeks. I just really like the shades they chose and I hope they add more shades. I would love to see like a red. You guys know me, I'm a sucker for a good red blush so that will be fun but they're so beautiful. Super duper flattering. And then last but certainly not least is the eyeshadow palette from Glaminatrix. So I will say I was super duper excited that this one contained some dark mattes as well. That's always like my number one complaint with eyeshadow palettes that are pastel. So I did grab two to show you like what I was talking about. So these are pastels that I've had in my collection. This one does have like this dark gray, but I just wanted to show you like minus this. Like most pastel palettes just contain pastels and shimmers and I don't ever find anything where I can darken up my outer corner. And that's just how I prefer to wear my pastels. So I feel like I've noticed in 2023 and now 2024, brands are including dark mattes in their pastel palettes, which I just feel like makes it a little bit more versatile than just having an all pastel palette. So I do give Glaminatrix a lot of credit for that. I also like this cool different layout they did and I like this packaging more than their leathery packaging that they've done the last few times. It looks so nice and sleek so kudos to them on that. I am a little bit worried about the actual pastel shadows in this palette especially these two. I feel like they were just so light for my medium complexion. I'm not sure if this is gonna show up on a complexion deeper than mine. I'm sure it'll swatch okay, but I really wanna see it on the eye. And I know I could have probably used a white base and got them to pop more. I just typically don't do that when I'm testing out a pastel palette. So I will remember to try them with a white base and see if that shows up more. But those are just kind of my first impression thoughts. Like I mentioned, this palette is launching on the 2nd at 6 o'clock Eastern time, I think. I'll put all the information in the description box for you guys. I do have a code with Glaminatrix. It's KH Makeup, and that is an affiliate code. If you use my code to shop, thank you in advance. I will make a small commission, and you guys will be able to save as well. That is it for my quick first impressions on the Glaminatrix palette and testing out some new makeup. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. I did post a video this morning and I'll probably post one tomorrow as well. So keep an eye out for that. 
Thank you. I hope you guys are having a good Saturday and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye.